Welcome to the next video of our Selenium with c .NET course. And in this video, we'll be talking about installation and getting started with Selenium with .NET 8 and c 12. Basically, the prerequisite of this particular video is this. You need to have at least Windows operating system to follow along with this particular video. But if you have Mac OS and Linux, the steps are gonna be pretty much exactly the same that what we are gonna be discussing in Windows operating system. So there is no change on that. And then we've been installing Visual Studio 2022 version 17.8, which got released just today. So that is what we'll be doing for the installation. If you have Rider IDE, then I would also highly recommend you to use it because it is also quite awesome to use it in Windows, Mac, and Linux operating system. And then we also need to install .NET 8, which actually comes as a part of Visual Studio 2022. But still, I'm saying that we need to have .NET 8 as a prerequisite to get started with this particular course. Well, as that said, Let's get into how we can start installing the Visual Studio 2022 within our machine and then start installing Selenium and stuff. So as that said, I'm gonna go to my Windows 11 operating system over here, and then I'm gonna go and search for Visual Studio 2022, not the preview download, but download. You will see that Visual Studio just got released the latest version of Visual Studio 2022, which is the version number 17.2. That is what I'm gonna be installing right now. So I'm gonna go and download the community edition of 2022. If you have license to use professional and enterprise, you can go ahead and do that. But since I don't really have the license, I'm gonna be using the community edition, which is for complete free usage. So this is going to download the Visual Studio 2022 setup for me. And this is just the installer that we have got. So I'm gonna go ahead and start installing it right now. And I'm just going to install the ASP.NET over here, which is required because it will include almost everything that I really require. And you can see that the Visual Studio Community Edition is version number 17.8, which has the .NET 8 inbuilt in this particular version. So that is the only option that I'm gonna check in. Uh, and I'm not gonna check any other boxes over here because we don't really require any of them. So I'm just gonna leave this as it is. But guess what? I'm also gonna remove this .NET Framework 4.8.1 development tool, which is not required for us to do that. And similarly, we don't really require the live share and .NET profiling, something like that. But I'm just gonna leave these things as it is. And I'm gonna hit install. So this is going to install the Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition. So I'll be back once the whole installation is done. All right, so you can see that the installation is fully done and the Visual Studio 2022 is right now launching. And there we go. So this is the installation that we have to worry about. So I'm just gonna remove the, uh, or close the installer, installer. I'm gonna skip this row and then I'm gonna choose the light version and I'm gonna start using Visual Studio. That's it. So this is the installation of Visual Studio 2022 for us. And now we will see how we can create a simple project and start installing Selenium in there. So the project that you need to choose for performing this operation is gonna be, click this create a new project option over here. And this is gonna bring you up all the different templates which are available within this particular Visual Studio. And if you go and search for test over here, it is gonna bring up all the different tests being supported by this particular Visual Studio. So it shows you MS test test project or MS test test project with the VB language and also for C sharp language, something like that. And the one which we are gonna be focusing on is gonna be the C sharp language. So I'm just going to be choosing not the MS test, but I'm gonna be choosing the N unit because that's what a lot of companies are really using to use as a test framework. And you will also notice that this N unit test project can also run in Linux Mac OS, Windows, because it is a cross-platform framework and it does support all the different platforms. So I'm gonna go select this one, I'm gonna hit next. And now it's asking me where to store the source code. So I'm just gonna choose the E source uh, and then I'm gonna call this as .NET Selenium. I'm not gonna check the place solution and project in the same directory. I'm just gonna leave that as it is and I hit next. And now you'll notice that we have the .NET version 8 long-term support. So this is coming as a part of the Visual Studio installation. So we did no installation, like additional installation. It just came automatically. So if you just go and search for terminal in your machine, and then if you just go and search for 
.NET hyphen hyphen version, you'll notice that the current version is version 8.0.100. So this is the latest version of .NET, which just got released today. So that is the version that we have. And then I'm going to hit create. So this way you can create a project or the test project for your Selenium test code. And now you can see that the project has been created for us over here and it has got a namespace of the .NET Selenium over here, which is pretty much exactly the same name of our solution and also has got a class called test and has got a setup attribute over here, which is going to be coming all the way from the end unit and has got a method called a setup. And then there is a test method, which is where we're going to be writing all of our tests, but this is the test method over here. So these are the two things that we have got already. So I'm not really going to touch into writing the Selenium code yet, but this is how you can set up everything. The last operation that we are going to be doing after this project creation is going to be adding the Selenium dependency itself as a manage NuGet package. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to this manage NuGet packages over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and search for our famous tool Selenium. So once I search for Selenium, you will see that there are going to be two libraries. One is the selenium.webdriver and selenium.support. We'll not talk about selenium.support yet. We'll get there once we talk about it. But we'll first use the selenium.webdriver library to be added within our project. So this is how we install the Selenium within Visual Studio 2022. And you can see that it is going to tell that it is also going to install the Microsoft.Win32.SystemEvents and System.Drawing.Common along with the Selenium WebDriver library. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And all these three packages are going to be added over here for us, as you can see, as a part of the Selenium WebDriver. So you see that Drawing.Common and the JSON file over here. Cool. So all of these are added right now. I think our Selenium is already there over here. So that is the last operation that we need to do in order to do the installation. So this is the clean installation step all the way from installing Visual Studio and in creating an Enunit project and installing Selenium web driver within your c .NET project. Now, next video, we'll see how we can start writing simple Selenium code using Selenium c -sharp .NET. Thank you.